Hey boys and girls, Mr. Mitchell here and welcome to the Great Gym Escape. Your goal here is to save Thanksgiving. You are trapped in the gym, you're locked in, and so you have to figure out the code to get you out to find uh, the turkey that was stolen and Thanksgiving will be saved, all right? So I'm just going to go through a few slides. I can't go too far because uh, I don't. I can't give the whole thing away. And let me just remind you that as you read through, each direction is on each slide. So read them carefully. Take your time. And um, it's, it's fun. And there's an exercise to get your next clue, to get the next riddle each and every time. So there's some, um, some exercises to do to continue. All right. So uh, on the first slide, little directions here. So how to escape the gym. Um, you're going to read the clue. You'll pick an object in the gym you believe relates to the clue. And then you'll complete the exercise to get your next clue. So what I'm going to write you to do, and I'll show you what this looks like. I want you to write down the highlighted letter every time you solve a clue. And you're going to try to escape the gym in about 30 minutes. This is what the gym looks like. Okay. And oh no, someone's stolen our turkey. And so help solve mystery, you're going to uh, and escape from the gym and save Thanksgiving. So to get your first clue, uh, and again, later on, you'll be clicking on this keypad. That doesn't take you anywhere now. Just takes you to the next clue. But this keypad will enlarge, and you will use that to, um, to find out if you've solved the clue. All right? So you're going to click here for the first one. And so the first riddle is, uh, to help me stand, I'm made of sticks, and I'm a house that is not made of bricks. So if you go into the gym, you'll see some pictures of some things that are in the gym. And what kind of house here is not made of sticks? I'm sure most of you have already guessed the TP. If you click on it, it'll tell you, nice job. If you click on something else, it's not going to tell you, nice job. And so here's another question. After, during the first Thanksgiving, Native Americans lived in these. And if you said something like a boathouse or a condominium, well, that would be incorrect. All right. But if you said something like a TP, maybe a good guess. And that is correct, a TP. So after this first clue, you'll uh, to get your clue, you've got to complete these exercises. So do your 20 high knees and then get your first clue. And in this case, the A in apple pie is your first clue. And I want you to write down that A on a piece of paper. Write it down somewhere. Okay? It'll show you a summary of all of them at the end also. Because you're going to use those letters to try to help you figure out a code word to crack the code. And that will take you to the next riddle. Okay? So, again, I'm not going to go all the way through it, but it says, This carried many pilgrims across the sea when they discovered America, and they celebrated with turkey. Actually, they didn't really celebrate with turkey. They probably had pheasants and birds, uh, things like that, chickens, um, and wild. They, they, I heard there was a lot of fish and seafood, um, and, of course, the harvest of the fall, uh, corn and other vegetables that had been grown. So you go back to the gym and try to figure out what they used to get across the pilgrims went in, and that, of course, would be this ship. All right? So I don't want to continue on. Um, I want you to continue on trying to guess each clue, click the right one in the gym, and then when you get toward the end, I, I'll just give it away if I keep clicking. Um, you'll have all of your clues, and you'll have a summary of all the clues, and then all those clues will turn into, you have to figure out the number code that those letters represent. But first, you have to figure out the word that helps you crack the code, and there are some hints to help you figure out that word once you have all of your letters. Challenge yourself and try to figure out that word. It's a seven letter word, so there are seven clues, seven exercises, and seven different things, seven different questions to find the next clue. And so try to figure out what that word is even before you go through all the clues. All right, once you get it, you'll move on. You'll go to the uh, back to the gym, you'll click the keypad, try to enter the right code, and it tells you what to do from there. All right. Have a great time, everyone. Let's say Thanksgiving. It's the great gym escape. Have fun.